Okay, we're going to learn how to extrude um, a polygon and the different elements that we can extrude from a polygon, like the face and the edges. So I'm going to create a simple polygon cube. I'm going to go to my polygon shelf and click on create a polygon cube. I'm going to enlarge it by hitting the letter R and scaling my polygon. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of my faces. I can right mouse button over the asset and select face. Then if I hold the shift key and right mouse button over that face, I can go to extrude face and I get this controller right here. So if I pull from the Z manipulator, I can extrude my face. If I pull from the white, if I pull, if I pull from the Y manipulator, I can go up and down, and if I pull from the X manipulator, I can go left and right. Now to scale something towards the middle, all you have to do is scale in any direction until we get the little blue manipulator in the middle and then I can scale it down. I've gone back to the very beginning. I'm going to do it again. Shift, right mouse button, extrude face. And I get this little window right here now. I can control my thickness, my local translate Z, which in this case is the same thing as my thickness. I can control the offset and I can control the amount of divisions that my extrusion has. Keep faces together has to do with when we extrude various faces. If I don't want the faces to be part of one, like for example, if I don't want this one and this one to be part of the same extrusion, what I can do is deselect, keep faces together. So now when I extrude my two faces, you will notice that they extrude independently from each other. Okay, I can right mouse button and select an edge. Let me select two so you can see it. And then I can go extrude edge. Same thing, shift and right mouse button. And it's converted to extrude edge instead of extrude face because it knew that I selected the edges instead of the face. If I go to my global manipulator, it will control my extrusion of the edges as one unit.